Yesterday I uploaded the giveaway system using Sapphire Video, and you guys asked me to send the steps on how I made it. This video is not edited properly, no background music and I try my best to explain things in my head. First how I got the idea of giveaway system. I usually read all the posts on the support channel and I saw this post by Docker on application system using Sapphire. There are a lot of stuffs going on here and XG came in and said it is not possible to do anything like an application system with Sapphire. After that the idea died. But I had a hope because two weeks ago I made a video on creating a CAPTCHA verification system using Sapphire. Mr. Bean randomly pinged me on a message and asked me to figure out something to host giveaways with Sapphire. You are a Sapphire genius. So I went to the support channel and checked if anyone have asked for giveaway system because I don't want to spend my time on something if there is no demand for it. Then I searched on YouTube for Sapphire giveaway system and no one ever did a video on giveaway system using Sapphire. So I came up with an idea to create a discussion thread on the server. Then Seeker mentioned we may need variables to automate stuffs, but I responded we can figure something out for that. I haven't used any giveaway bots before so I don't know what things we need at that moment. Few people were interested in creating a thread for discussion about giveaway system, so I created a thread on the server. As Sapphire don't have a giveaway system, we'll discuss and test creating our own using its existing features and other bots. So people on the thread started to give their ideas and suggestions for the giveaway systems. I gathered everything and came up with a plan. First we will send the announcement message. Then users have to react to the message. So we can use the reaction role module to give a role call participant. Then we will need a bot to pick a random user with the role participant. Then manually send the giveaway ended message. After that remove all users from the participant role. At first I thought we can pick winners manually but then I decided to find a bot with the capability and use it. To find the bot to pick winners I just googled pick random user within a role discord bot and I found this random bot and I used discord app directory and found this randomer bot. It had an option to pick a user from the role but it was not working at that moment when I tried it. So I tested the random dot bot and it is working as expected. So now I need a bot to remove all users from a role. As usual I went to Google and visited a lot of website and found Dino bot documentation on a command role all. I tested it out and found it was the bot we are looking for. So now I need to create the embed messages. I used the giveaway boat bot and saw its messages and replicated it on Sapphire. I want to make the best giveaway messages, so I went to Google and searched for giveaway bots to get different images of giveaway messages but all of them were same and boring, so I decided to create on my own idea. On my plan I had the giveaway entry option as a reaction role message as it shows the count of total reactions on the message, but on the giveaway boat bot it shows a ephemeral message as entry confirmed and I want to have this on our giveaway system. But we can't send ephemeral messages while using the reaction role module. So I decided to throw away the reaction roles idea and use buttons. This is the announcement message, and this is the giveaway enter button. When the button is clicked it will give user the participant role and show giveaway confirmation message and we can make Sapphire send the entry logs on private channel for staffs, so I used the role assignment module for this. Then I got the idea, why don't we DM the user about the giveaway entry confirmation? So I added the action on the enter button to DM the user when they clicks the enter button. Based on my plan we need a bot to remove all users from the role without deleting the role. So I found DinoBot earlier and it was working perfectly according to my plan. We need to pick a random user with the participant role. So I found random.bot earlier and it was working perfectly for our needs.
Once we pick the winner, we have to send the giveaway ended message and after that we have to send the giveaway winner messages. After we announce the winner, we can remove all users from the participant role and use this system for future giveaway without any issue. Now I will show you how I created the message templates and explain what each of them do. This is the first message template I created. It looks boring and same as other bots. If people see this message, they will say you copied from other bots. But I want to make everyone say, wow this looks amazing, so here is what I came up with. Simple, unique, beautiful and easy to understand. I have mentioned the giveaway announcement role because when we send a message, it has to ping the role to notify the users. This is an emoji from Sapphire support server. I used this emoji from Sapphire server because it looks cute and the chances of XG deleting this emoji from the server is very low. So when I share the raw code for this template, people won't get invalid emoji error. Also, we can change this emoji by just replacing this emoji ID. Here we can mention the giveaway host and we can mention the timestamp for the giveaway end time. This is an emoji from Sapphire server but we can't use emoji in those fields. So I downloaded the emoji as PNG and uploaded it on my server and used the image link in the template. On the giveaway ended template I only changed few things such as time remaining and ended time. On giveaway winner announcement message we will ping the giveaway announcement role and giveaway winner. Here enter the user ID of the winner. We have to mention the total participant count and we can know the total participants by using the role info command or go to server settings, role and check the member count on the participant role. This is the entry confirmation message. Here I have used the emoji from Sapphire server and it shows the exact date and time of entry. Here I have used the now timestamp variable and a Unix syntax. I used this website to get the chat syntax and replace the code with now timestamp variable. This is the user ID variable and I took the format from one of the default messages. Here I have used the guild name and guild icon URL variables. On the entry confirmation messages I tried to mention a role but on server it shows the role and on DM message it shows as deleted role. I even tried to enter the role name manually but then I realized this is too much info on a DM message so let's remove it. Let's see the logs message. These are the common user ID and username variables.
Here on action I have typed the button name as enter and used the origin channel name variable. One downside to this origin channel name variable is that it shows the channel name as text but you can mention the channel with the normal way of mentioning a channel in the embed message. Here I have used the sapphire default success emoji variable and I have mentioned the role in the embed. For the thumbnail I use the user avatar URL variable. Let's see giveaway manager controls message. I have used the verified emoji from Sapphire server. Here I have mentioned the slash command so that we can use it by just clicking the command instead of typing it and finding the correct command. I have mentioned the command usage in a code block. I found this usage format from Sapphire Default Commands Info. You can create a new role called giveaway winner if you want but you have to manually assign it to the winner. To claim the prize I have mentioned our staff team will contact you via DMs, but I will show you an easy way for this. If you have a ticket system with Sapphire and Ticket Tool, then you will have a channel for Sapphire to send the ticket open codes. What you have to do is copy the winner's user ID and paste it on the ticket's codes channel with the ticket command. So Ticket Tool will create a new ticket and add the user automatically. You can contact the winner by this way very easily. This is how I created the giveaway system with Sapphire Bot.